the king. What's up, Pelosword? Welcome back to the channel. So, Comic Con International just announced today that Hotel Apocalypse will be happening this Thursday, April 28th, at 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So that is 12 p.m. Eastern Time. So that is when this that's when the actual sale will go up for these hotels and specifically the downtown hotels, which are not able to be booked right now. So what you're going to do is anytime between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, that's going to be 11 a.m. and noon Eastern Standard Time. You're going to log in to the link that they sent you through your email. And then at that time, they're going to kind of, it's a waiting room. So they're basically going to just mix you all up. And right when it hits noon, Eastern Standard Time, or again, it'd be 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, they're going to put you in a certain order. It's all random. Just make sure you're logged in before then, because if you're if you come after noon or after the 9 a.m. Pacific, what's going to happen is you go to right to the end of the line. And chances are everything will be gone before you even get a chance. So the way this works is that you are going to go ahead and list up to 12 of the hotels that you desire. So there is a practice form that we're going to go through and I will show you exactly how to input this. But before we do that, let's go through our hotels. And I'll, now this will be my fifth Comic-Con, so I can kind of tell you um, some of the better ones to try to go for. Again, it's all going to be random. You don't know. You won't even know on the day of. You have to wait and get an email saying if you were even accepted for any of them. Um, I've only hit on this twice out of my five attempts. So, you know, it's, it's definitely not guaranteed. So here are the hotels. And I'm going to specifically look at the, the green, the downtown, everything else you can almost book right now. Um, so I'm not going to spend time on that. But the downtown ones are the ones that are most desirable because they are walking distance away. All right. So if you look at this column here, this is going to be how far away it is from the convention center. So Andes Hotel. You know, it's 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 point seven miles. It's probably going to take you, you know, ten to fifteen minutes to actually get over there. Um, so it's not exactly the closest, but it's a nice mid-range one. I usually put the Andas in, you know, somewhere like at number three or number four. Um, some people, you know, like they'll put it last just in case. is it's, it's not really the number one option, but just a, you know, a, a choice to have. So it's it's closer than having to take a shuttle. And then we scroll down. We have the Courtyard by Marriott. This is the same same deal. You know, you're about a little less than a mile away. You can still walk that. You know, it's probably about a 20-minute walk. But, you know, so it's up to you if you want to use that one. The Courtyard San Diego right here, this is one of the closest ones. So, again, you got to kind of think about what are other people going to put as their first couple options. And, you know, if you're putting this one as like option four or five, you probably you pretty much will have no chance to get it. So if this is one that you like, put this was put this as your top choice. Double tree, you're looking a little further away. Um, you know, again, if you want to stay at least a mile and a half away rather than three or four miles away, you know, because this could be one of your last choices. Plus the price isn't too bad at $249. Um, we're going to keep going down. So we have Embassy Suites. Again, you're about a mile away. So again, 20 to 25 minute walk. Um, you do get a free breakfast, which is nice. Let's see. We have, again, you can see here, these couple, you're, now you're talking almost two miles away. Hard Rock, again, if you don't put it first, there's no chance to get it. So if that's one that you really like, that's literally right across the street. It's like less than a five minute walk. Um, a lot of people will put that as the number one choice. Hilton Garden Inn, again, you're, you're talking, uh, this is uh, about two miles away. Um, it's actually a really nice um, hotel. But again, you know, it depends how close that you want to stay and if you don't want to have to worry about a shuttle. Um, and you can see that this one does offer a shuttle, but it's about 30 minute, a 30-minute wait. Uh, Hilton San Diego Bayfront, again, same deal. And, and same thing with these uh, Hilton San Diego gas lamp quarter. Look how close. 
So again, if you're not going to put those as your first choice, uh, you, you might as well go for something else that you think you can get. Hotel Indigo, again, 0.6 miles. You got a Hotel Palomar. Um, somewhere around here is Hotel Salomar. Those are all like right by each other. Uh, you really can't go wrong with any of them. Manchester Grand Hyatt, it's about a half a mile away. Um, it's a really nice hotel. But again, you know, people, this is one that people want to stay at right away. So, you know, because it's almost right next door practically. So again, first choice. And then after that, start picking ones that aren't going to be as popular. And you can see here, we have a few other ones. Um, the hotel, uh, the uh, Marriott Mar Marquis, again, it's literally right next door. The Omni is right across the street. There's another top choice. Uh, and then we're looking at a couple more that are a little further away. And we do have a residence in. So just be careful here because uh, this is only a queen. This is a studio queen and this is a studio queen. So if you don't mind a queen bed, sure, go for it. Um, if you want a king size bed or you need two beds, you probably don't really want to stay here or someone's going to have to be sleep, sleeping on that so, uh, the sofa. And those are always not the most comfortable thing. And then finally, we have a few other ones here. We have the San Diego Marriott. Uh, that's in the gas lamp uh, quarter. So there's your uh, you know, 0.3 miles. Again, that's going to be a top one that people are going to want. There's Hotel Salomar, had mentioned earlier. And then again, we have a couple more a little further away. And then to kind of round this thing off, you know, the next group here is about a mile or so. Weston's probably the closest. Um, this is over by Sparkles uh, Theater. So, you know, that's another option there. And then the Western San Diego is a little further down. And then finally we have the Wyndham, which is almost two miles away. So those are your choices for the downtown hotels. You know, unfortunately, the one that's not on there is the Pendry, and it's an absolutely beautiful hotel. And even if you can't stay there, I recommend at least going to get breakfast because it's fantastic. And last time I went there, I saw Conan O'Brien eating breakfast. It was pretty cool. All right, so let's go do that sample form. So I'm just kind of scrolling back up here, you know, and, and definitely take a look at this because you are going to have to do a payment. Um, so the deposit equals two nights. Uh, and the other thing I want to mention now that I'm thinking about it is that be careful when you book, because let's say you're only going for three nights or two nights. You can see right here in the, in the dark red, this is a four night minimum. So they're, they're giving you a little bit of a discount if you book the four nights. You know, again, it's not a crazy amount, but to book those better rates, like, you know, they hit this one right here, Hotel Republic, you know, they're giving you a 30 hour discount if you book four days. So it really kind of depends how many that you, um, how many nights you want to stay. So just be careful when, when clicking that, because all of these will be options. And it can, it can get very overwhelming when you're trying to do it fast, because you're trying to get it as fast as you can, because the sooner you can click that submit, you jump in front of anyone else who's actually in there with you. So here's the, uh, here's the sample form, and what I'll do is I'll link this in the description, so if you want to play around with it, you can go ahead. Um, this is from 2019, but they are saying right here it, is, it will end up being the same form. So we're going to go ahead and do this. All right, so basically this is just welcoming us to the process. It's, it's, you know, it's telling you all, like, you know, here's the two deposit information. Um, it's telling you your last time you can cancel. Uh, what fees you have to pay, and so on. So again, you guys can kind of read that. So here's our sample form. So you can see if you are traveling with pets, they have a little uh, notification right here of the little dog, so you know that they are pet friendly. So obviously if you're traveling with pets, make sure you do some research on that first, because you don't want to book a hotel, you know, and then they're not pet friendly. And, please, and also be, you want to be aware that some of the hotels are going to charge you a pet fee. Some don't, but some do. So basically here, they're going to give you a list. Now you can see, here's the location. So you have airport, and finally get downtown, and here's all your downtown. Because you can, you can put all the other hotels in as well. But again, if you're looking at these hotels here, you probably can go book that right now. That's kind of what the form will look like. It tells you the prices. It tells you your distance. Basically, it's just not color coordinated like the last one. And then up here, it, can, it will tell you, you know, like one adult, one bed, and then here's one adult with two beds. You know, so if you're going with a buddy, this is obviously what you want to do. Uh, if you're going with a, a spouse, then this is the one you want to do, and so on and so forth. And then here's all your shuttle information as well. 
So it, it's pretty user-friendly. It's I think this is actually a little cleaner than the big color coordinated one, but I understand why they do that because, again, you want to focus on that green, especially during this uh, sale. We're going to go down. You're going to put all your information in. So I'm not going to do all this, but I'll just give you the idea. And then so on and so forth, all the way down, fill out that information. Again, the faster you can do it, the better. Um, another way to do it is to have a Word document or something like that, and you can just kind of cut and paste over if you're not the fastest typer. So again, play around with it. See what the best way to do it is. Um, and you got to hit everything, and especially everything with the little red stars. And then member class, are you an attendee? Are you press? Uh, are you a volunteer? So make sure you click the right one there. So right here, this says new for this year. So this is talking about a non-refundable service fee of 3% um, if you're using a credit card. So that's just the way they're trying to make up some of their money because they haven't held Comic-Con for two years, basically. If there's a, a combination you need, you can click here. All right, so there, here's here's kind of the meat and details now. So here's your hotel preferences. You can see here, hotel selected, zero out of 12. You put them in your preferred at the top and then you can sort them later. So here, here's what I would recommend. Get them quick. Click the, the 6 to 12. I, I usually say 6 to 12. You know, if you are really only wanting three and the other ones you don't really care about, then put the three in and go. Again, the faster you submit the form, the better chance you have. So what you're going to do is we're going to click, and let's say we really want to stay at the Andes. Is right there. And then let's say we also know we want to stay at Hotel Palomar. And let's say we know we want to try to stay maybe at the Hard Rock. And again, we can sort these later. You just get them in there first. Uh, there's Hotel uh, Indigo. So you can see here, so we have Indigo, Gas Lamp, Quarter. And then here's the four minimum stay. So the price isn't there. You just got to know that that four night price is going to be cheaper if you're staying for four nights. And then you can click whichever ones you want. And I'm going to do two more. Here's the, uh, the Grand. So there's that Grand Club Room for the Manchester. So, again, that's going to be, I think it was like $70 more. So, again, make sure you click the right one. And you can always put both in. Like, you can do um, Manchester and then do the other Manchester. And where'd it go? Here it is. So, you can do both of those. those that counts as two separate hotels. So, you can see here, I now have six out of my 12 listed. All right, so let's say I, I don't want to do any more. And then it says here, if none of my preferred hotel choices are available, it says book me at a hotel that is closest to the convention center regardless of rate and shuttle availability. So that's basically telling them to book you at the next closest opportunity. Doesn't matter if, you know about the rate or the uh, shuttle. Next one says book me at a hotel with the lowest rate regardless of location. Okay, chances are you're going to be a couple miles away. So just know that it come, you know, if you click that choice. It says book me at any hotel that is on the shuttle route, regardless of rate or location. So again, chances are you're going to be further away. So if you're going to book, if you're going to click any of these, the top one is the one you want to roll with. But again, if you're going to be really specific on what hotel you want, and the, you know, if those six are the only ones you want to try, then click the bottom choice, which says, if none of my preferred hotel choices are available, disregard my request completely. So again, it, it kind of depends what you want to do. If this is your first time going, the first time we went, we stayed about two miles away and we took the shuttle every day. After that, we stayed downtown. There's positives and negatives to both. It just, it, it really depends what you want. If you want it to be more quiet at night, then I'd recommend staying further away. If you want to be able to walk to the different bars and the restaurants and, you know, and, and all the crazy stuff that happens downtown, you know, then, you know, just disregard it and, you know, see what happens afterwards. Weightless preference. I always place myself on the waitlist just, that just so if I don't get it, I at least have a chance. Um, so that there's that you want to check all of these boxes. This is just telling you about the two night deposit and the 3% credit card fee. 
um, you know, and so on and so forth. So you want to make sure you click all those. Additional days and requests. If you need to book days that are um, before or after, you have to, to type those different requests in. And then if you need an ADA room. And then basically at the end of that, you would hit submit, and which is obviously not on this. So that's kind of what the form looks like. So definitely take a look at it so you kind of get used to what it's going to be like. Because it's going to be very, very stressful. And you can also notice right here, it says you only have 15 minutes to fill out the form before it expires. So, you know, I typically can get it done in about five minutes. Again, the faster you fill it out, the better chance you have. So practice. That's what I would say. And it's nice that they do this. All right. So there it is. So that's the form. So if we go back to that main page. So you can have, you get all the information here. Um, you know, they say you can call by phone. I, I would imagine that's kind of a disaster. Uh, but there is the phone number if you want to try it that way. Um, yeah, I, I've never tried it that way. So I, I can't, I don't really have anything to tell you about that. I just imagine that it would be very difficult. Anyways, that's pretty much it. So again, I will link the, I will actually link this right here and I'll also link the direct uh, link to the form and then you guys can go ahead and play around with it. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Let me know how you do on Thursday, if you thought it was an easy process, um, if you, you know, if you, and if you get a hotel, let us know in the comments and let's see what happens. Good luck to everybody. It's a very stressful 15 minutes or, or to up to an hour, depends how fast you get in. But, you know, I, I wish you the best of luck. All right. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. And don't forget, keep those heads up.